Hi, my name is Scott and I work for Avon Technology. Today in this video tutorial I'm going to show you a quick way of making your own cables. Now the cable we're going to make today is a BNC to phono. Now basically this cable is used for connecting the DVR to a TV. Now we're going to use two different methods today. We have a twist on BNC connection and a crimp on BNC connection. We're also going to be using these small items which are known as boots. These are basically used just to neaten up the cable and seal any, any uh, crimps. Last we have a BNC female to phone or male. Now this is what we're going to use to connect the cable to the TV. Now if we take our tool kit which we have from before, first we need our cable stripper. Now here we have a single cable which is RG59 or coaxial cable. What we're going to do is we're going to place the cable to the edge of the cutter like so and then we're going to rotate. Now what this does is it removes the outer sheathing and you can actually feel when it starts to grind the copper braids inside. We then pull this out like so. Right now as you can see once we've uh, cut and stripped the cable this is what it will look like. We're going to do the other end now. So what we do is we're placing the cable just on the outside and rotating. There is actually an arrow on the tool which tells you which way to rotate it. You can actually feel when the uh, cable is cut. We'll just empty it like that. As you can see, it just strips the rubber, the rubber coating, and the braids. So, first of all, we're going to attempt the uh, crimp on BNC. Now in these small bags, they consist of a, a small pin, a cover, and the actual connection itself. So what we're going to do first, we're going to take a boot, place that onto the cable. Now we're going to get our silver casing. Work that down. Okay. Now we're going to pull the braid to one side. Basically, because if you try and pull the braid back, you're more than likely to get uh, a little uh, stab in the finger. <coughs> we're going to open up our crimping tool. And we're going to place the small pin on the centre copper coil, like so. Now in the middle of the crimping tool, there is a small insert, which we're going to place the pin in, give it a good squeeze until it's released, double check that it's nice and secure, you may need to crimp it twice, one should be, should be fine. Then what we're going to do is place our BNC end over the pin and if you listen you'll hear it click into place like so then we're just going to spread the braid out slightly and then fold the steel case back over the top like so we then place this in the end of the large crimp and again a good squeeze As you can see it's locked in place and the boot is then slid over to make the connection look nice, neat and professional. Okay. Now for the other the other end, 
we're going to use a screw on BNC. And basically this is the same principle, same connection on this end, but it has a thread. Okay? So again, this just gets placed inside like that and clips into place. And is then twisted. Okay, now just to test that this works, I'm going to place the extension bar in the middle. I'm just going to disconnect our camera and then connect this end to the DVR. And as you can see, there's a nice connection to the extension cable. Now, if you wish to make a BNC cable, BNC to RCA, we have our fold or socket. And this is then just pushed in like so. We then connect one end to the DVR and the other end into the socket onto the side of the TV. Okay, thank you for watching today's tutorial. If you have any questions, you can contact us on the fall link.